Number two, meaning can be found in sweeping. All right, again, these are in no particular order, but one thing that I was very, very impressed with was that when I got there, and I'm gonna talk about other parts of my experience, but when I got to this new facility, and this is an unbelievable facility, it's nearly 200,000 square feet, I can't even imagine the investment, the financial investment, the amount of time and energy uh, that, that went into making this what it is. But as I walked in there, it, it was interesting because as I was going from the front desk to the podcast room where Andy and I were going to record, I remember looking over and seeing in this hall and there was a, a young man and he was sweeping the floor. And he was, it, was, it was interesting because he was doing it in a way where he, was, he seemed happy about it. <laughs> he was sweeping the floor and he seemed genuinely happy about it. Like he was doing it right. He was paying attention to detail and he was smiling. He looked up. He, he greeted me. He said hello. It, he was pleasant. And he was sweeping the floors. All right, now fast forward four hours later, because that's how long Andy and I recorded for between his podcast and my podcast. Uh, I, I came out and I looked down that hall and there was another young man sweeping that same area, a, a, different, a different guy sweeping that area. And he was sweeping it with the same positivity and mannerisms that the first young man was sweeping it with. He was happy, he seemed to be enjoying it, uh, and he was pretty content, and he was pleasant. Looked up, greeted me, said hello, and then went, went right back to his duty like he loved it. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't enjoy necessarily cleaning. Like That isn't a thing that I would place on a, a very high position within the, the list of things that I want to be doing on a daily basis. Like I don't like vacuuming. I don't like sweeping. I don't like dusting. I don't like doing the dishes. And I think that most of us would probably fall into that category as well. And yet I think there's a real reason why these two young men seem to be enjoying the opportunity to clean dirt off the floor. And I'm going to get into more of the reasons why I think that is as I talk with you about these other points. But it was very interesting to me that the team at First Form had created an environment where something is seemingly insignificant or trivial or more of a headache and a hassle than anything else was actually a pleasant experience. And how applicable can this be in our own lives? How often do you need to send emails or make a phone call or do go, go through some, some red tape or to do some paperwork and to jump through some hoops that you know, isn't the most pleasant part of your job. And yet you can take something that you don't actually like doing. And if you attach meaning and purpose to it, which is what they've done at first form, then I think you're going to have not only a better time doing these things that you don't enjoy doing, you're going to achieve maximum results. And that facility was spotless. Now I realize it's new, but there wasn't any dust, there wasn't any debris, there wasn't anything like any dirt or cobwebs in the, I mean, there was nothing. It was, it was meticulous. In fact, I saw those two young men sweeping the same place within a four hour time period and they were enjoying it. So if there's not a lesson there that says, man, we need to find meaning and purpose in what we're doing. And that way the trivial tasks that need to be done on a daily basis don't become so painful or cumbersome or we reject and avoid them.